Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for October 22nd to October 28th, 2018 <clears throat> so while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, again I want to remind you everybody that this is going to be a, a general reading for Aries star sign and it's not going to be your personal reading uh, therefore in uh, this uh, Tzarot and Lenormand spread, I will try my best to uh, explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy um, in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, this is a subject of a personal reading, and for personal readings, uh, please check out my website, which uh, is written down below in the description of this video. Or you can make an inquiry directly to my email, which is as well is going to be written down in the description of this video. And there you can um, find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So that being said, going to the tarot reading first. Now the first card, as per usual, is going to display the um, topic of the week for Aries. The second card is about the uh, core of the situation. Third card will be about the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last card is about the guidance that Taro is offering. Now for um, more, accu more accurate start of the reading for the, for, uh, from a lack of better term, I will turn over the first couple of cards as, as they are um, heavily linked into one another. So as a topic, Aries is going to have the Queen of Cups and as a uh, core of the situation, this is going to be the Five of Pentacles. So what the, the Queen of Cups tells us for the Aries topic of the week is that this week is going to be rather very calm and um, and per, not, not persistent but consistent should they say it that way so uh, it is likely that you will proceed further with your tasks and your undertakings that are currently currently established as per negotiated as per signed as well or you know <clears throat> as per one intends to do as the queen of uh, cups it is exactly about that you know one is um, basically proceeding further working patiently and calmly for what they have ex established thus far so you can expect throughout the week that you will work on the same projects um, <clears throat> in your career uh, or you are going to you know develop uh, the same kind of tasks that you have developed in the previous week and when we're talking about a relationship as well it is uh, uh, here the, the the whole situation will be about nurturing the relationship just as the same as you have nurtured it in uh, in the past so what we can see here with the Queen of Cups guys is that this week is not going to be extraordinary from uh, the sense of surprises therefore there won't be much of a room here for you to make any mistakes whatsoever not to mention that when we are talking about the Queen of Cups this is going to be a very favorable time for one to make big plans for the future Future, but those plans cannot be executed for the duration of the week. You can look at this specific, uh, uh, this specific, this specific interpretation as a something additional you can do and you can make use of, of for a long run when you look forward to the future. The appearance, however, of the uh, Five of Pentacles here as the core of the situation, and as we all know, the Five of Pentacles is rather unpleasant and despondent card. Many you know, to our readers in many books, this card is interpreted as a poverty, it's interpreted as a resource lacking, etc, etc. The very practical interpretation of the Five of Pentacles is that you may face some um, difficulties, not challenges. We have here the challenges, but difficulties in all of the fronts that you are um, dappled in. Therefore, um, this week, even though you are going to kind of take... Um, those undertakings you have currently working and continue on developing them, it will be extra tough and hard to do so for any um, for any reason and for any case. And also the Five of Pentacles here may point that you will take the matter more seriously, recognizing that uh, you know the stakes are much higher than you you, you initially anticipated. Because the Five of Pentacles also may uh, may display the uh, how can I place it here the 
fear of one's failure. You know, what could happen if one fails or one uh, does not give the necessary efforts toward one undertaking or toward one goal and mainly this is a, a very huge and powerful drive for uh, for one person or in this case for you Aries to improve your performance in any way and to give the maximum out of yourself just so you know just so you're not criticized further in the future and just so that there, there are no angles that other people or situations could attack you could attack you furthermore so what we can see here also could be that you are recognizing the true value of one situation the true value of your job the true value of your project or of your relationship as well being determined to make it working because uh, <clears throat> As we say, you are going to see the true value, therefore you are going to find a value in those things. And that is especially um, flourishing in case, you know, you are almost to give up from your career and almost to give up from your relationship as well. But the, the main... Um, and profound interpretation of the five of pentacles especially as a core of the situation is that you are not you are not alone in this so in other words you know you have someone here as you can see the two people running in the cold winter you do have someone which is in a similar situation somehow connected to your issues that can you can use their help as much as they can use your help as well so therefore you can proceed on moving forward together and and that way, um, by consolidating one's efforts, uh, you will have much easier time pushing forward with your undertakings. The next card is going to be the challenges which are causing um, predicaments here. That will be the Ten of Pentacles. First and foremost, the Ten of Pentacles is about utilizing resources and, and, and making, you know, a... Um, beneficial investments and as this is a, a challenge uh, you may find challenging to um, to make use of your resources and under resources I'm not talking just about money I'm talking about any kind of resource because the time is also resource very valuable resource in our modern days days is the connections that one has because I am truly convinced that no matter how skilled and knowledgeable you are if you don't have the right connections you cannot do much with what you what you have as their properties therefore you may find it difficult to do so but apart from these difficulties this is these are challenges and these challenges can be overcome therefore with much more patience here and uh, how can I place it um, a sense of independence as well that is very important um, how can I really give you the best explanation here guys so let me give you an example let's say that uh, you do want to you you do want to buy yourself a house all right and you constantly work toward that undertaking as we are seeing here now you recognize that uh, the true meaning of uh, of what it is to have a to have an independent home to have your home and uh, of course you are working with someone probably your husband or your wife or someone from your from your family to to make that uh, undertaking a reality at the end and now it comes to the investment here and uh, under the independence i'm talking about that you may have a certain criteria that you can fulfill that you're feeling comfortable at, but the bank could ask for um more restrictions or rather like could pull more strings into the contract and because you so much want to uh, want to obtain that house you know you may make that severe compromise and uh, agree to those terms which are not very beneficial for you and the fact that this card appears here you have to make a good use from your resources you know if this bank isn't giving you the right contract you gotta go to the next bank which most likely is going to give you what you need uh, so with that being said the ten of pentacles really here asks you to uh, be very careful how you um separate your time how you how you manage your time excuse me how you set your priorities uh, what kind of a um, um 
a sense of independence you do have regarding the matter and as well it could also play a big role into one's sense of trust and especially as we're talking here that you don't have to be alone in facing your uh, undertakings throughout the week and especially the difficult ones um, this card could could play a role that you may not have much trust the person that you have to work with and that will additionally um, create cracks into um, into one synergy with that specific person and these senses they need to be overcome so try to have to try to you know um, to do what is necessary in order to obtain more trust toward that guy or toward that woman. And at the end, what we do have is going to be the uh, guidance that Taro has for you, Aresis. And the Four of Cups as a guidance, it is a, a very, su not superficial, but a very broad card. Now, what the card says as a guidance is that one kind of reaches a certain uh, milestone if I may say that way and at that specific milestone where one achieves their goals they are feeling very comfortable at. however one's life is all about improvement and surely but steadily one needs to recognize that they can't achieve more therefore one needs to kind of start placing additional aims and additional, go and additional goals toward their life so what the four of cups here uh, represents guys is that <clears throat> even though your current agenda is very reachable and you are almost at the verge of completing it there are even better there are even more beneficial um, beneficial goals and aims that you can place in front of yourself after that thing is finalized so this card asks you to um, uh, as we said here that you need to start creating plans for yourself these plans needs to involve growth they should not involve um, you know, they, they should not involve uh, a, um, only a certain criteria that are falling into the frame that you are working at this very moment. So in that specific sense, that card asks you to dream a little bit for a, a greater aims for yourself. <clears throat> as these greater aims are going to be very uh, reachable as soon as you finalize these undertakings that you are working at right now. So that was uh, the tarot reading for you, Aresis, and now what we are going to do is we are going to see what the Lenormand cards has to say for you. Now, the Lenormand cards are going to show, uh, to show us an um, event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. So let's see what we got here. Now the first one, this is going to be the uh, whip and the broom. And the whip and the broom, they're representing um, fights, they're representing wrangles, dispution, and sometimes revenge and retribution. Then the next one is going to be the woman, and or the, the lady, and the lady represents woman, generally. And then uh, what we do have is the sun, and the sun in Lenormand represents a great luck, great success, and uh, in generally um, a positive achievement. So what we do have here regarding the Lenormand cards is the rangos in between you and the woman regarding a, um, a, a certain success or a certain uti uti uh, utilization of a specific resources. What we talked about here about resources, about having difficulties to trust into the person that you're going to work with. So what we know here from the Lenormand cards is the person that you have to work with so you can make your time much more easier is going to be a woman and you will have a significant differences into the points of view and um, into uh, how can I place it um, I need mean to the criteria that uh, one has to accomplish in order to reach a certain goal. However, uh, these differences can and should be overcome for the sake of the greater good and from the, for the sake of the mutual success as the, sun's, as, as the sun is suggesting. And the sun is not about a certain success, guys. We're talking about a, a great 
uh, achievement here, a, a great milestone. So I can suggest you as soon as you start uh, kind of like being involved in those Rango's disputes and contribution here uh, to kind of try to overcome your pride, try to overcome your ego and really try to make a certain compromise. That should be as well equivalent from the other side. This woman as well needs to be capable to make certain compromises as well. So a common, uh, a common ground is uh, achieved from both of you and then when you start working together uh, a great plans are going to be created for the brighter future as well regarding relationships or regarding career and uh, a, a huge milestones are going to be achieved so that being said there is this this was your weekly tarot reading for october 22nd to october 28 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again guys this was just a general reading for uh aries star uh, star sign it was not your personal reading therefore i tried my best to explain you the meanings of the cards their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings rat signing out now see you next time bye